There are plenty of books that mention virtual worlds or second life in the title. Why even bother reading another one? Some people talk about how cool it is to hang out in a virtual world. Others say it is boring and useless. Everybody knows if and how to use virtual worlds in corporate life, right? Wrong! Training and collaboration with virtual worlds does not discuss how cool it is to teleport, change your hairstyle, and do a million other things that are of little or no relevance to business use of virtual worlds in general and Second Life in particular. This book does not teach you how to build a copy of your office that is destined to stay empty, lifeless, and therefore useless. Training and Collaboration with Virtual Worlds is the first book on corporate use of virtual worlds. It is an experience-based case for virtual worlds as an effective tool for business survival and growth. Talk is cheap. Experience is what counts. This book has contributors from Intel, TMP Worldwide, Cisco, IBM, Microsoft, EMC, World Bank, KUMC, Michelin Group. All share their successes and problems, their best practices and recommendations drawn from their experience working with virtual worlds. Many companies start with using Second Life for their collaborative meetings, technical support, or recruiting. Nothing is wrong with that. Saving time and resources on travel certainly doesn't hurt either. However, simply moving meetings or classes into a virtual world will often leave participants wondering why they were asked to use this new technology. What couldn't be done using any of the more familiar methods? Did they really need to do this? The experiences of EMC, TMP Worldwide, and Cisco will help you to avoid this pitfall. In spite of what you might have heard, the perceived coolness of the venue plays little role. Users employ the platform to work, not to play with the latest gadget. Collaboration using immersive environment or virtual worlds works great. However, stopping there means missing perhaps the best elements offered by the immersive environment, ability to use simulations and conduct procedural training. While others are going through the motions, the University of Kansas Medical Center started using Second Life simulations to train real-life physical therapists and surgical nurses. These simulations consist of dozens of major steps with numerous decision points that, in turn, can branch into additional sub-procedures based on the learner's actions. They help students learn complex procedural steps in a safe and controlled learning space. One of the reasons often given for delays with implementing virtual world training is the fear of a steep learning curve. Training and collaboration with virtual worlds examines this using the experience of diverse multinationals, such as the Michelin Group. Michelin demonstrated that all trainees, regardless of their age, country of residence and technical background, acquired second life skills faster than the company planned. Michelin's conclusion? The company could have been less cautious. The amount of supervision needed was less than originally anticipated. Training and collaboration with virtual worlds provides extensive data on the corporate use of virtual worlds. It is not based on someone's personal opinions. Our job is to provide our real-life experience and unique access to innovative corporate projects and knowledgeable corporate players who hold nothing back. Your job is to review objective information and to make the decision for yourself. We hope that you pre-order Training and Collaboration with Virtual Worlds today.